Hey guys, this is Mod 14 here. And we're back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. I'll let you guys turn and watch the intro. Alright, with that we can load, I think it's the first save file, but yeah. Um, let's see, before I start this, I'm actually going to save over save file 4. Yeah, and that way if anything goes wrong, as far as the recording, I'll be good there now. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to take on, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, to start, we're going to take on Meko Tsunami yet again. Uh, let's see, let's change to probably my best deck, which is the first deck. So, um, actually, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. For now, yeah, and believe it or not, I lost the bones. I mean, can you believe it? Anyway, to start, let's, let's do a Bandit Keith, <coughs> just so I can get a little voice and go, inflection going. By the way, I just woke up, so... <laughs> It's funny to think that a fool like you thinks that you can beat me, dweeb, the number one Amer uh, ranked American duelist in America. <clears throat> I wonder how that impersonation sounds, considering I just woke up, like, also some of, some of my voice is actually, like, pretty, pretty deep, you know, compared to how I normally sound, so that's cool, man. For a minute, I'm going to sound like Barry White up in here. <laughs> Alright, look for us, man. We got that Umi card first turn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and this also reduces uh, Benaki's uh, machine monsters, you know? Alright, so face down, seven color fish, all up in attack mode, bruh. In my turn, bruh. <laughs> but now, I uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'm, I'm actually doing well. Uh, one of the main reasons I wanted to update this video is, um,. Let's see, what was I telling you guys about, man? Uh, oh yeah, I was just telling you about, uh, what's up, Gohawks go face down. Uh, <laughs> I was telling you guys about um, the other deck I was using. What the blank in America? But uh, yeah, what I was telling you guys about is like, we had lost the bones, and the reason we did is not because, you know, uh, we suck. I, I wasn't using the very, the best deck I have against them. Um, like, what I've been doing, actually, is, <laughs> is that all you got, dweeb? <laughs> in America! And we discarded Hologra, nice. But, uh, yeah, what I've been doing lately is, uh, actually, I've been showing off the monster animations, uh, as crazy as that may sound. Um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Oh, you're gonna attack me in America! Luckily for me, I have a spell card! Ah! A spell card in America? That's not fair. Only Americans can use spell cards or magic cards in America. All right. Well, that was a good uh, counter. Good thing I set that face down. Normally the AI, normally the AI won't um, attack when you like. Since I have seven color fish that has two thousand, normally they won't put anything in attack mode that has lower than 2,000, but I guess because um, Cannon Soldier's Effect, if nothing else, he could have used Cannon Soldier's Effect, that's why he put a face up. Also Slate Warrior, for some reason, they like to put in attack mode in. But anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm distracting myself from the topic. Long story short, 
I think in this game we're going to have a point where I show all the different animations. You know what I mean? Of the... I mean, at this point I might as well... I mean, what episode are we up to? I think this is episode... 114? Is it? I mean, I don't know exactly what number this episode is. It'd be nice if it was episode 100 just for that, you know, milestone episode and we happen to have it with commentary, but I don't think so. I think this is episode, like, 107 or something like that. Anyway, R in America! I'm a pirate. An American pirate. <laughs> ah, no way! In America! I'm the best duelist in the entire United States, which is also in America. How dare you, dweeb. Now hand over that red eyes. <laughs> Alright, so I'll choose the raw statue for no particular reason. Uh, yeah, nothing worthwhile there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's move on and duel. A guy we've dueled 80 times, Mako Tsunami. <laughs> Fishing is so much easier when the guppies went right into my net. You are no match for my aqua beast monsters. Here I come, Flood. Ha 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 Oh yes. <laughs> I like how at Nightmare Troubadour his deck's name is just like Big Catch or something like that. Like Big, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Big Catch. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Flood my 14 versus Mako Tsunami. Alright, first turn. Missing Tomato is always a good first turn move. Uh, and we'll set Kokiki no Mu Gekiha face down. But yeah, uh, yeah, what, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm basically gonna eventually show all the monsters' attacks, even like the sucky, you know, 200 uh, attack point ones that have no business. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I'm gonna show them. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I think he has Torrential Tribute face down, so what we're going to do is we're just going to end the turn. Um, but yeah, yeah, eventually, yeah, now now you know, guys know, that's going to be the long-term project of this um, LP, is, um, yeah, I've been, I'm going to show, like, all the monsters' animation attacks, um, and I'll probably... I'll probably show all the cards in the library as well. Well, maybe not. Because in order to get all the cards in the library, you don't necessarily have to have all the cards. But for what I was talking about, showing all the animation attacks, you do need all of the monsters. So that's... That's the main... Uh, yeah. So I'll definitely be showing all the monsters that I can possibly get. Uh, in the library. I think there are a couple that you can't really get from anybody. Maybe I'm wrong on that. No, I'm probably not. I mean, I'm pretty, even though, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty familiar with this game, even though, like, I just started LPing it. Mm. Well, or maybe it was just my luck or something, but I remember on one save file, um, and I, so we got Umi, so we can break his Umi. But I remember on one save file, uh, yeah, like, I couldn't get, um, like, uh, I might as well play this other fish, but I couldn't get, like, a couple of the cards that were in the starter decks, you know, the other starter decks. Um, yeah, there are three, I, I don't think I've ever really mentioned it, but there are three starter decks in this game. Uh, the one we started with, which is... You know, based it has Tricorn Dragon, but really and truthfully, it's kind of aqua based because it comes with Legendary Ocean. Um, and then there's the Cosmo Queen deck, which is pretty good. And then there's well, I don't know. I wouldn't consider it. I kind of would consider it the worst deck of the uh, of the. Uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> of the three starter decks, I would consider it the worst deck. And that deck is, um, <laughs> is called the Zera the Mant deck. Yeah, there we go. Man, I could just could not get the words out for the life of me. Jeez, what is wrong with me? Um, but yeah, uh, that Zera the Mant deck, pretty, um, 
pretty bad. Pretty bad, um, if I can say so myself. So, yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, what time are we at? Um, ten, ten minutes? Uh -huh. Dude, like, I can tell I definitely just woke up because my level of concentration is just like unbelievable. Wow, that's an interesting glitch. Hey, check that out, guys. Like, you saw I just got rid of my Omi card. Like, I put one face down over it. But look, look at the background. The background is still Umi, even though Umi has been destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Check that out, guys. Look at that. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? That's a glitch. Like, that's definitely a glitch. Like, wow. I, I mean, how old is this game? I guarantee you no one's ever found that glitch. Uh, I guess we'll call this episode... There's always an ocean, an ocean of life and love. Something poetic. There's something poetic there about what I just said. No, I've been chopped to chum. You've caught me in your net instead, Flood. However, I fell before I willingly flow, so I have no regrets. Uh, thanks, bro. Now, can you give me a legendary ocean, please? I mean, please? Oh! Wow, that's surprisingly a good haul. Man, me and my fish puns. But seriously, that was actually a good haul, all things considered. Um, but yeah, we actually lost to Shimon once as well. So it's funny, I actually titled one episode Shimon's Best Day Ever. And then, <laughs> like, I think he beat us probably about, like, what, uh, seven episodes before this one? I titled that episode Shimon's Very Best Day Ever. So, yeah, pretty, um,. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't even know, I don't even know, but luckily we got the Umi Tornado Wall combo, like, right away, so, this duel, I mean, he might, you know, do some workarounds with our seven colored fish and stuff, but this duel, I think we've pretty much, uh, got it in the bag, and he doesn't have Harpy's Feather Duster, now, normally you have to, like, account for that, account for the fact that the foe has Harpy's Feather Duster, but he doesn't. I mean, he's one of the very, very, very beginning duelists, so no worries there as far as, oh no, I'm, I'm, all these traps are going to, you know, destroy me, you know, or he's going to heavy storm me. Nah, you really don't have to worry about that at this, you know, at some of the beginning players like Shimon and Grandpa. Uh, anyway, we've got a spell card, Black Pendant. I think I'll attach it after I attack. Chain. Jarbury? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Vlad. I chain my Jarbury to your Jarbury. Now I draw first. Ooh, interesting. Chain energy. Well, let's just attack first, see what happens. Uh. Han. Hanaiwa. Haniwa. <laughs> That's funny. Haniwa. <laughs> Alright, so I'll attach Black Pendant. The reason I waited is just in case, like, that was something like, I don't know, Cyber Jar, Penguin Soldier. But yeah, we got a good thing going right now. See, what I like a lot about this deck is, this is one combo I really like. Umi Tornado Wall plus Chain Energy. Why? I mean, that's a great setup because you won't take any damage at all as long as Tornado Wall's out. And then, um, yeah, they'll keep paying life points for chain energy. So the truth is, like, I could leave my board state, I could leave it to where it's the same. Um, and just not pay any points whatsoever for chain energy now. I think I'll... Mm, I'm always thinking about Penguin Soldier, but, you know, he doesn't always have Penguin Soldier. It's just, right now would be a trap hole, huh? Yeah, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna negate that. Sorry, bud. I know this negates Tornado Wall too, but I mean, I I want to keep Cannon Soldier like that badly. So with that, my combo is like I broke my own combo, but yeah, Abyss Fowler. <laughs> it said Abyss Fowler. Oh my gosh, am I dyslexic, guys? I think I don't know. Maybe I'm just um, speak lexic. Like, some of you guys are just like, what? The, did he just say? Like, yeah, I think I'm, like, not dyslexic, because when I read, like, when I read Flood in Mod 14, I don't ever mix it up. Mm. 
but I think I might be speak lexic now to me speak lexic the very definition of it would be you transfer you tra oh, transfer you transpose words on an auditory level like for example what I just said transfer like that's not a real word but I think a uh, speak lexic like this isn't a word but I think it should be a word in the Webster's dictionary like that might be the title of this episode is flood and mon 14 speak lexic <laughs> and you guys are like what like what is this video I gotta click on that clickbait titles always at that good clicky clickbait titles but um yeah like um mm, just got rid of bane soldier I'll try to attack with ah darn it man that's see that's why I kept attacking with uh seven colored fish because like I know he does have really 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 crappy monsters like um that abyss flower but and some of his the, like some, the highest defense he has is 1400 and that's honestly pretty solid so that's why I kept uh doing that but oh well uh, he probably has a negate attack face down oh wait it doesn't matter with your trap guard is full for I have the royal decree for some reason I forgot I even had that out but um yeah we'll attack with Tomio because that can take out any defense he has negate attack nope sorry fool royal decree I shall activate a trap card that has no effect whatsoever yeah good thing I didn't attack with cannon soldier first all right so this is 25 with the black pendant go black blue rainbow burst though Wow, that actually sounds like a cool attack name. And homing missile. Impressive. You are weak. Splendid. You're one of the few to defeat blind legendary deck. This calls for a celebration. Ha 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 ha. For some reason I gave him a little hint of a Pegasus voice now with Shimon. Lately I've been picking Slifer just over and over and over in the hopes that we get, like, eventually three jar of greed, so. Uh, unfortunately we didn't get anything there. What time are we at? 17 minutes? Now, some of the battles with Shimon can last quite a while. That one was pretty short, thanks to Royal Decree. But yeah, let's do them again. Uh, hopefully we get that card behind them. But yeah, there's nothing, uh, um, I wanted to do in this video as far as, like, oh, really, dude? Longest game of rock, paper, scissors ever. But yeah, there's nothing I really wanted to do in this video as far as like, oh, read off a card list or, oh, you know, I just wanted to make this video kind of as an update video, question mark? Um, and I guess it sort of is because I addressed, you know, two major things in Dawn of Destiny, like, number one, is Flood Mon 14? Am I going to go for all the cards, like all the cards in the card album? Am I going to, you know, am I going to, you know, go go the whole extra mile with that um the answer right now is probably no but um um you know i will of course since i want to show all the monsters i will go for let me qualify this i will as far as the card library i'll go for all of the monsters that are obtainable and i'll show their animations like I'll go for all the yeah, all the ones that are obtainable with their animations um, during this game. So that's gonna be a very, 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 very long-term project. So long story short, uh, Dawn of Destiny is not over and it's not gonna be over. Like I'll probably be doing this LP like two two years from now. Just <laughs> Like, just because I, I'm going to show everything, just like I've been doing. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, wish me luck with that project. Uh, uh, pray for me. <laughs> like, seriously, that project's going to take a long time. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to need to believe in the heart of the cards. And I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need to believe in Jesus uh, and God to, uh, to really have the patience to persist with that project and to adhere and stick with that project because yeah without something really high level like that yeah that project I don't think it's getting uh getting done and then we have Mystic Tomatoa but I think I'm gonna set Penguin Soldier yeah I'm gonna set Penguin Soldier 
It will attack with... Oh my gosh. I kind of wish I had played Mystic Tomato and attacked with it. Yeah, just seeing that Abyss Flower it makes me feel like I wasted such a big opportunity, but maybe not, maybe not. I mean, Penguin Soldier is a good set because, um, yeah, unless he sets, like, Torrential Tribute, which he could, um, that way I can just start bouncing whatever he sets to his hand, and, yeah, he did set a card. <laughs> is it Torrential Tribute? Well, I guess in a way it doesn't matter because I still have, uh, a Mystic Tamoto, and, uh, yeah. Oh, nice, I got the Legendary Ocean and Tornado Hole combo. This is probably the better Jar of Greed. Yeah, okay. So, let's see, nothing to worry about. Wasn't Tornado. I mean, <laughs> Tornado. It was not the Torrential Tribute. My goodness. Uh, I think I just won, though. Um, yeah, if I don't return Penguin Soldier, yes. Uh,. Return another? No. If I don't return Penguin Soldier, I think I just won here. Because we got Mystic Tomato. Alright, so let's attack with everybody. Yeah, Tonyo is now all the way up to 2550. So, uh, paralyzing lick attack. Go, Penguin Soldier! Spinning Torpedo Top Slash! Unbelievable, my service strategy is really limited. Mystic Tomato! Death Dark Spider! Impressive. And giant red sea snake. Go. Use tail whip. Now that's a tail whip that actually works. That giant tail. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, uh, like I said, um, I think I'm sort of wrapping up this video. Uh, these skills are superb for one so young. I hope to have the honor to, of another duel in the future. Sure, buddy. Yeah, me too. As long as that future duel, you give up another draw of greed. Know what I'm saying? That was wiggity, 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 whack, yo. We got, like, Pop the Trick, something else, and Firegrass. <laughs> oh, lord. Alrighty. But anyway, we're going to duel him one more time, and hopefully we'll get, like, two Jar of Greed out of uh, the Slifer statue there. That'd be nice, because that can happen. It's where you get two of a really good card, so. Yeah. I mean, we did get a good card, don't get me wrong. We got Sandgin out of Slifer from him, which, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, that's good, same again, it is good, but, uh, just not exactly what we need, uh, at this point, nice, so we got Umi Tornado Wall, so, now this is another thing about this strategy, like, since I got Umi Tornado Wall, normally I'd be worried about his traps, but now I'm not, like, because, no, no matter what, I'm not gonna take any damage, yeah, trap hole, doesn't matter, I've got Tornado Wall, so for that reason, I'm not even going to... Well, I will. Okay, I'll set Royal Decree. But I'm probably not even going to play Royal Decree. Uh, yeah, like anytime soon. Because we'll use the uh, the uh, bouncing back of Tornado Wall just to uh, yeah negate all that damage. So that's pretty awesome. What are you doing? I'm stopping you from being able to do any damage at all, son. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, this video, we're at 24 minutes or so, but this video might, like, actually, um, it might, what am I trying to say here, the video might stop early, just because, Legendary Fisherman, nice, uh, it might stop early because, because, I don't know, my storage on my phone, <laughs> I can't believe it took me so long. I can tell, dude. Like, I definitely just... Oh, gosh. Uh, speak Lexia, man. <laughs> it's gonna become like an inside thing, I think. Maybe it'll become a meme. I don't know. Oh, memes. There's so many memes out now that, like... I don't know. I don't know. I think memes are... Somewhat healthy. Oh, Penguin Soldier, nice. Well, this is actually one of the best case scenarios, because I was going to tribute Giant Red Sea Snake, and I was just like, nah, no matter what I got, he can't kill it, so. But, uh, yeah, that worked out pretty well. I didn't waste a, uh, tribute, and the tribute wasn't bounced back to my hand. And I only had one monster, so that's really, yeah, best case scenario when you're dueling Shimon like this is that's what happens. You get you catch him using a penguin soldier when you only have one monster on the field. Because then the impact is just 
it's not, yeah, it's not that at all, honestly. So, Stone Ghost, Stone Tojo, that looks like a pretty creepy, freaky monster, I must say. So, just putting it out there, Shimon. But yeah, my third deck on the save file has like, it's kind of like randomly assorted. And, um, and that's why I lost the bones, because it has like a bunch of level threes in there that are... Uh, like they they I you know what I'm saying but uh, I'm gonna play Harpy's Feather Duster actually because I don't want to get Torrential Tributed at this point or Trap Hold so nope no chain I mean yeah I could have used oh it was just Backup Soldier Pfft, well I felt kind of stupid for that but oh well at least he didn't get to use Backup Soldier because he almost has five in his graveyard I'm I'm working on it I'm working on it go oh, Death Dog Spike <laughs> man I love that attack name. For Mystic Tomato. Uh, are you serious, bruh? He brought out Dark Plant. You didn't bring out Sangin? Wow. That just tells me one thing. Sangin is not in the deck. Maybe it's set based down there, but... Yeah. <sighs> dude. Where is my car, dude? That. That was painful for you, Shimon. Hope you're happy. Hope you're happy with your decisions. Uh, yeah. Wish you some luck. Alright, I think I'll tribute Mystic Tomato for Legendary Fishman. No, no, no. I'll do that in Main Phase 2. I'll tribute it for Legendary. Because these might be... Okay, never mind. I was going to say, it might be Penguin Soldier and it might be Cyber Jar or something like that. Anyway. Oh, there's... See? Called it. Told you saying again what had to be like on the field right there. That's That's amazing. Like, how do I know that? Well... Because, like, normally on Mystic Tomato, like, sometimes he'll search out the other Mystic Tomato. But then, like, s most of the time he'll search out Sangin, like, for the last search. You know, kind of like I do, kind of, so. Alright, we'll send down Torrential, you know, just in case something crazy happens. And he plays, like, Sleep Warrior with, yeah, you know, we stand and just wrecks our day, so. Alright, but he didn't do any of that. He just said monsters, so. Good. Now I kind of want to <laughs> tribute, and I think I will. Ooh, actually, this is what I'm gonna do. Remember that glitch we found with Legendary Fisherman? Check this out. So I'm gonna tribute for Legendary Fisherman. All right, and then I'm gonna play Torrential Tribute because remember that glitch we found? Um, the other, it was in one of my I think non-commentary episodes. But yeah, apparently, <laughs> like, read the text. Yeah, while only is faked up, this is. Cards unaffected by any magic cards. And can't you take? Apparently, this game has a glitch to where it's not just magic cards; it's magic and trap cards. So yeah, exploit that glitch to your heart's content, man. Because you see, both of these legendary fishermen should have been dead right there, but because of that glitch, um, they weren't affected by torrential tribute, and <laughs> we just kind of cheese Simon. So that's what we're going to do to win. We're just going to cheese him again. And, um, yeah, it doesn't matter really what that face down is. But yeah, we're just going to cheese him again. And, uh, play, I'm probably just going to tribute for Amphibian Beast and play, play, uh, <laughs> oh gosh, play, um, Torrential again. So we tribute Amphibian Beast. And, yes. Torrential Tribute. Hozawaki Tribute. I love the artwork on Torrential Tribute, too. It's so, like, awesome looking. It really is. Alright. And just to make sure there's no hiccups, like a negate attack, we'll play Royal Decree. Yeah. Negate my tornado wall, please. And now, Legendary Fisherman attack. Ah! Negate attack. Now, see, what's interesting is, I don't think negate attack would actually negate this attack with the uh, combo, but it would end the battle 